Hey everyone, it's Shar from Shar's Fascination. No, I'm not wearing a dress today. I'm wearing pants and a shirt as you can see. Um, it's a little cool in my room today. I would have tossed on a jacket or a sweater, but I don't feel like it. Um, so, okay. If you stuck around the other day, which a few people have been... Thank you for that. I don't have the earbuds with the microphone in, so I hope you can hear me rather well. Can you hear me now? Um, <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, I do have my hair pulled back in a ponytail with the thing in. Um, sometimes we do that. But... Yeah, this is how that goes. Sometimes we will do that. Um, to modernize our hair. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I took sort of a break because that day that I cried, my epilepsy got me. We're not going into that, though. Um... So, what I need to do today is even up the bottom here, because if you watched the video, you notice how darn long <laughs> the skirt was, right? You notice how darn long that was. Um, that was really long. So, we're going to go <laughs> from here. Wow. That was really long. Even you have to admit that. That was really long. Um, so we're going to go to about here. Um, which would be about the gusset area. But I might want to take that up. In fact, I should actually just put this on. Yeah, let me just do that real quick. Let me just put this on. Um, and then I'm going to keep an eye on my phone. My son had called to check on me. I don't know. Call it intuition. He knew I wasn't feeling well. Maybe he watched my video. Um, and knew I wasn't feeling well. Because he knows if I get upset that I'm going to have a bad day. So, yeah. Wow! That's like super long. Um, so, this will actually be the front. Yes. This is the actual front of this. Inside out, I feel like it's, it's a hospital pajama. <laughs> it does look like a hospital pajama with this thing inside out. So, um, but once it's finished and everything, it's not going to look like a hospital pajama because the more colorful part of it will be on the outside, which is this part here big difference in the color big big difference um so we need to and also because we have to remember that there is this part that will be taken in for the gusset area um also because that will be sewn we need to take at least I'm gonna say, I don't want this to feel like an Oscar gown or a gala gown. Um, I'm gonna say, I need this right, oh, there is a chalk. I forgot I left the chalk right here. As luck may have it, right? Um, Needs to be like right at the 
ankle. Oh, and of course, you know. Or the better thing to do now, this is extremely dangerous to do. If you've been sewing as long as I have, always make sure that you're very, very careful to do this. When you do this, make sure that you hold the fabric away from your ankle. When you cut, take it off. You're like, what? That's right, my friends. Let me step over here for a moment. That's right. Step over here for a moment because my shirt may accidentally come off. And you don't need to see that. So, I'll step back in front of the camera momentarily. So, one moment, please. So, this may get a bit technical, but... as it is my shirt would have come off and y'all did not need to see my bra <laughs> now you guys know usually I wear a tank top but I just didn't today I didn't feel like it I just didn't feel like it so and toss this back on the table. Um, find my cut. Yes, we're going to find my cut mark real quick before I straighten this out completely. Completo. Completo. A little bit of espanol there for you. Um, so, since it's not on this section, it's on this section. Move this mouse down here. Um, because finding that cut mark is very important on this. Uh, because that signifies for both sections of this where that needs to be cut. Absolutely. And it makes it go much quicker. Much quicker. And then on the machine it will go for the sides except for the gusset area, which of course, right here on the gusset area parts, like Morgan, love you Morgan. Um, my goodness, you know, that one hour dress, which is not actually one hour, <laughs> as we all know, um, is so similar to Native American regalia. It's amazing how different cultures can take from our styles. And um, 
I also have to think Bernadette Banner for realizing, sweetie, I know you're kind of lost in specific histories and realizing now how much history you've lost um, in realizing things. Thank you. But also, there's no such thing. And I'm not bashing on you, sweetie. Don't worry about that. I'm not bashing on you. But there's no such thing as a Native American queen. So I, I am not bashing on you. I'm only educating you, okay? Um, there is no such thing as a Native American queen. Now, in the tribes, very rarely, very rarely is there ever a female chief. A female chief, yes. Not a queen, but a chief. Yes. Very rarely is there a female chief. Um, but I do have to thank you on actually realizing that, um, without our culture, you guys would not have a lot as, you know, colonists, you guys would not have a lot here in America. So, um... Moving along with this, so if you, you really, Bernadette, sweetie, if you want to learn more about the tribes, and please, could you pick more than just Cherokee? Because there's more than just Cherokee. If you want to know, sweetie, you can reach out to me. Don't be ashamed. You can reach out to me. Don't be ashamed. Never be ashamed to ask a Native American, okay? I'm Native American, I'm black. You can reach out to me. Absolutely. Don't be ashamed to ask me, Bernadette. I have a lot to teach. A whole heck of a lot to teach. So this is what I'm saying is now i got to find that cut mark. Because if it's not on one side, it's on the other. And this is what's important. Is finding that cut mark. Absolutely. And then there's a thread. You ever like not like that when there's that thread? Then you have to feel your fabric for that cut mark. And then you know you wrinkled your fabric badly. <laughs> but you still have to feel your fabric for that cut mark. Oh, must be on the other side. Oh no. And here it is. I just smoothed out all this fabric. And then I have to flip it. Oh, I found it. I found it. But I found the cut mark. Here we go. Okay, this shouldn't take long. Should not take long. And it should be easy to smooth now. Okay. Because, yikes, my back is going ruh ro raggy. Ruh-ro. 
Okay. Okay. And like I'm saying, you know, like, never be afraid to ask a Native American about Native American history. There's a lot of scholars out there, so-called scholars, that think that they know it all. And they don't really know it all. And that's why I really feel like you should reach out to people. <laughs> reach out to us, please. For the love of everything, would you please reach out to us? Like, we can teach you more than the so-called historians. Um, oh, sometimes these historians know less about our culture. Just do me a favor, reach out to me. I, I'll teach you. And isn't that what I've been saying? I believe I have. Um, reach out, reach out, and touch someone. <laughs> a lot of reaching out to do to people and not in a bad sense in a really good sense of teaching and when I saw Bernadette's post on Instagram like girl I feel for you but if you truly and sincerely want to know more about our culture and the historical prevalence of Native American culture and that there's more to it than just Cherokee. Um, quite frankly, you don't live far from the Ogundagan. You don't live far from the uh, Tukaho. You don't live far from the Lenape, which, by the way, don't live on a reservation. Um, yeah. The Lenape don't live on a reservation. I gotta cut that even. But, uh, yeah. I'm not mad or anything. I just feel like if you want to learn more about our culture, please, like, reach out, girl. You can't just, like, say, oh, but I failed this and I failed this. Right? But if you want to learn, sweetie, you got to reach out. You can't just sit back and say, oh, but I'm, I, I'm this and I'm that and I'm this and I'm that. But if you, if you are serious about wanting to learn, um, you have to be serious about wanting to reach out and learn more about the cultures. Um, you have to be more serious in retrospect See, that, that's a lot of fabric right there that can be used for something else, and that's fine. Um, and which, by the way, 
Um, if you guys remember, oh, this is going to be great. Um, oh yeah, this is going to be great. Um, I can't wait to get this finished. We'll put this over here at the machine and have a little chat. And uh, let, let me grab that mouse. And my phone. But, um, yeah, if you're really serious about wanting to learn culture, you must be very serious about um, reaching out to the culture itself, okay? To somebody of the culture. Um, and wanting to learn more about the culture. And you can't just say, you know, pick a statuary and just go off of a statuary um, and say this is what I read on the statuary um, reach out to a person sweetie I'm not mad at you I'm just saying you know reach out to a person and get to know that person and I will connect with you and teach you. I'm not mad at you. I will teach you. Um, I'll be glad to teach you culture. Absolutely. I'll be glad to teach you culture. Uh, I have no problems with teaching you culture. I mean, obviously, garment. <laughs> I have no problem teaching the garments. I have absolutely no problems with that. Um, I have no problems with teaching history. Like I said, don't mind the chocolate sitting over there. Oh, yeah, i got to get my glasses. <laughs> I'd eat some chocolates because my sugar went low. I think I said that already. Oh, yeah, I did. I said that for Instagram. My sugar went low yesterday. Not going to take that medicine anymore. My epilepsy meds are... Like, two of them I'm not taking anymore, but, um, yeah, um, now that I've got this cut down, it will be going on here so that, uh, it can be appropriately sewn on the sides before I hand sew the gusset and then get that sewn and then um then stitch that and now a gusset is something that's traditional anyway to uh native american dress for regalia and not a lot of pe people know this for native american regalia that a gusset is actually something that goes <laughs> in that part of the dress in the first place. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I know. I look tired. I need a nap soon. Um, <laughs> I really do. I need a nap soon. And I'm trying not to nap today. Um, I'm trying to keep going until uh, later, but I need a nap, <laughs> and I, I don't want a nap, I want to stay strong today, and 
and keep going and try to uh, stay strong. Uh, I feel that if you can stay strong in here, you stay strong in here. And that's what keeps your mind, body, and spirit going in life. And um, also in culture, a lot of people lose um, their way in this, if that makes any sense to you. Uh, but, you know, also a lot of people have lost their path by letting themselves forget history. History is very important and a lot of history has been lost because nobody wants to talk about specific things in history because it's been an embarrassment to uh, their government um, especially US government because US government has and it's not under the Trump administration Stop blaming President Trump. No, a lot of you hate him. But what has happened to the tribes is not his fault. Okay? We're talking about... Um... Oh my gosh. Andrew Jackson... Uh, was a slave owner. His slaves were Native American. And, um, yeah, his slaves were Native Americans. There you go. And he killed the majority of them. And he said in, an, in a speech that he wanted Native Americans killed. That if he had his way, all Native Americans would be dead. Is that okay with you? Is that okay with you? That is not okay with me. And that man is on the $20 bill. The next time you look at a $20 bill, you better start remembering that. That heathen wanted all Native Americans dead. So the next time you look at a $20 bill, I bet it's going to turn your stomach. He wanted all Native Americans killed because he's a racist. He was a racist. And that hurts me to think that somebody like that is on a $20 bill. He shouldn't be on no $20 bill. I'd rather see Geronimo on a $20 bill. How about that? Chief Geronimo. I'd rather see Geronimo on a $20 bill than Andrew Jackson. How's that make you feel? Andrew Jackson said that he wanted all Native Americans killed if he could have had his way. That's right. If he could have had his way, kill them all. That's why all Native Americans ended up in concentration camps, now known as reservations still owned by the United States government. 
those casinos owned by the United States government. Not owned by the tribes. Oh, snap. Anyway, I still have a lot of teaching to teach guys about the tribes. Absolutely. There's no hate. Um, they're celebrating of uh, mind, body, and spirit. Celebrating of sewing. Celebrating of togetherness. Okay? Can we understand this, sir? Celebrate. You know what? They're celebrating a... I smell this beautiful candle over here. What is this beautiful candle that I smell? Vanilla. I should say rose vanilla. It just like the scent kicked up for some reason. Like, I don't know. It did too. I don't know why. <laughs> it did. Like, it wants to be lit. Does that make any sense to you? Like, it, like, maybe it's like some sort of protection. I don't know. Maybe it's because of like the days I've been having. Um, tell me if that's ever happened to you. Like some sort of sense come over you as some sort of protection. Um, oh. It smells beautiful. Yeah. It smells beautiful. It reminds me of uh, one of the fields out on the uh, Mission Res. There's this uh, rose field out on the Mission Res. It's uh, white roses. Mm-hmm. There's a uh, white rose field out on the Mission Res, and that's what that reminds me of because the protection um, field of uh, roses, and that's what that reminds me of. And it's so beautiful when like the uh, <laughs> the sun kicks up, and uh, it it just means that you're gonna be okay. It, that that's what that means. It's like, it's like a healing scent of protection. If that makes any sense to you. Does that make any sense to you? Okay. Uh, well, this is going to go on the sewing machine. Um, I've been babbling more than 33 minutes. Um, and uh, I will come back with another video. If you guys want because I need to lay down for a few um, but at least you got to see me cut this um, but Bernadette sweetie um, just for some Native American history the only time that there's a queen is when um, during the powwows <laughs> Okay, I'll educate you on this. Okay, don't don't feel stupid. I'm gonna educate you on this real quick. Um, very like I said, very rarely is there um a female chief, but it depends on the tribe. But they're not considered queens; they're considered chiefs. Um, not a queen, a chief. Um, now, if you want to consider somebody to be a queen or a princess, that is during the powwows, okay, pay close attention. Pay close attention. Okay. You know how like when you guys have um, 
Miss America or Miss USA and they get their crown or Miss Universe and they get their crown all sparkling everything with diamonds or whatever um ours aren't sparkly with diamonds or whatever <laughs> no ours are inlaid um with beadwork, peyote stitch, yeah, peyote stitching, not peyote, peyote is a mushroom, <laughs> that's a ceremonial mushroom, okay, only for, uh, <laughs> And it's a hallucinogen. Um, and you're only allowed to use that if you're uh, a healer and a shaman. And it's only a tribal thing. <laughs> yeah. Or if you're Willie Nelson. But, um... <laughs> And my oldest boy has met him. Um, but, um, yeah, um, <laughs> and old Willie Nelson walked into the Texas state governor's mansion with the bag of shrooms while my son's senior class was having their senior class prom dinner at the governor's mansion. <laughs> and here comes walking in uh, Willie Nelson with the bag of shrooms. <laughs> sits down starts chatting with it oh, I, I've got some stories <laughs> starts chatting with the children has some surf and turf with them and busts out a bag of shrooms <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Don't even ask me. I have no idea why it was legal for Willie Nelson to have a bag of shrimp. <laughs> At the governor's mansion in Texas. Don't even ask me. I don't know. <laughs> but it's funny. <laughs> because his, his uh, RV, he was living at the governor's mansion in his RV in Texas. True story. And, um, because they were friends. They're, well, they, I, I don't know if he's still alive. Living there um, on his property. And um, he might still be. I don't know if Willie Nelson is still alive. Um, <laughs> it's funny. Um Hilarious. Oh my goodness. But yeah, um, you know, some things are just ceremonial. Um, you know, and you, you steep it and drink it as a tea. Um, and then there's like the, um, the huts that you, the sweat lodge. Um, I can tell you all sorts of things about 
the um, the the ceremonial pipes and the tobaccos and the tobacco blends. Uh, I have so much history to teach and why there are certain tobaccos that are used, the um, the jingle dresses, the the ribbon dresses, all this. There's still more ahead. Um, absolutely. And then that extra fabric over there. I still have so much to teach you. Stay tuned for that. Um, I'm babbling now. But Bernadette, sweetie, um, reach out to me. Don't feel ashamed. Uh, like I said, I'm Native American. I'm black. There's a lot of history that people have lost in America. Because people have forgotten their true history in America, which used to be called Turtle Island. Y'all have skipped this. Y'all have forgotten the truth. I don't know why, but you all have forgotten the truth. And maybe it's, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, um, maybe it's time to tr bring true history back. Especially now. Espe especially, like, right now. Um, a lot of people are crying out for the truth now. Um, and I'm happy to bring it to you. I really am. I'm happy to bring you the truth. Um, so with that said, stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And I will bring you the rest of the truth along with, um, my regalia. Uh, you know what? I do have some energy perking back. I really do. I have some energy perking back. And, um... I think we may bring that to the sewing machine momentarily. Wow. 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 Let's do that. Let's, let's do that. But after I finish up this video and then we'll start a new video. Sound good? Sounds good. See you momentarily.